All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off saying all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Uh, double honest to the apostles, Elders, great minister, and salutation to you, hopeful elect out there, teaching the word and truth for sincerity. I'm the brother Amar, coming back at you with another video. Uh, Lord willing to be edifying. And uh, I'm probably going to more than likely break this up into a series. Um, you know, like probably a two, three part or whatever, Lord willing. I'm going to make this first one uh, kind of short and then like kind of like a short, a short intro. But, um, um, I, um, I said, and I kind of flow with the spirit on this one, but this one is um, is going to be titled um, "How Shout Out Young Man Cleanse His Ways," or somewhere along those uh, lines, and um, I just want to get into it because uh, what the Lord requires of is, is a, of us is to become a new man. Once you believe on Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, the Lord wants you to become a new man. Um, so I'll just start this from the top. Uh, this is the book of uh, John, chapter three, verse one. It said there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. It says the same came to Yahweh by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from Yahweh, for no man can do these miracles that thou uh, doest except Yahweh be with him. It says uh, Yahweh answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, which is which means truly, truly. I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. And uh, what did the Lord mean by be born again? He wanted you to, um, you know, uh, put off the old man, so to speak, man. Because um, once you wake up to the truth, uh, a certain, a certain, uh, it's a certain lifestyle that you have to uh, live uh, according to the, um, the, the the teachings of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, man. All right, like I said, when you read the commandments, it's certain, it's a certain eating habit you got to follow. There's a certain uh, conduct that you have to um, uh, uh, abide by, all right, because uh, the Lord's teachings is, is, is vast. And um, like I said, in order for you to be born again, you have to become a new man. Uh, let me see real quick. Uh, I think this is it, man. Uh, it might be the second. Second Corinthians 7. This is the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. Having therefore these uh, promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of Yahweh, man. Yeah, so that's that's this is what the Lord is talking about, man. Uh, cleansing yourself uh, from from the, uh, from filthiness of the flesh of, and spirit. Like I said, prior to um, us coming into the truth, uh, even though when we get in the truth, we're still looked at as filthy rags. You know what I mean? Scripture say our righteousness is but a filthy rags, but we're not as uh, filthy, so to speak, man. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is washing us away. Um, uh, with uh, uh, the Lord is washing us away with the Holy Spirit, man. All right, it's getting, it's cleaning us up, so to speak, man. All right, like I said, because you know, before you wake up, your spirit is filthy, it's dirty, is is uh, Levitically unclean in every way, shape, or form. Uh, physically, spiritually, and mentally, and like I said, once you come into the truth, what the truth does is that it cleanses your spirit of these things, man. That's why it's gonna get me to what I'm talking about, um, uh, right now, man. All right, I want to go back to the Book of John. This is what the Lord's teachings is about, man. The cleaning of the spirit, man. Uh, this is the Book of um, uh, John, chapter three, um. Verse uh, 3, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I said unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. And I just broke down what being born again is. Becoming a new creature, putting off the old man. Uh, this is verse 4. And Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born uh, when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And uh, Nicodemus was getting it confused with what Yahweh Shai was saying because he was being spiritual. But, um... He just, he, he like, it went over his head. You know what I mean? And this is what, uh, let me see. This is what uh, Yahweh Shah was talking about. Uh, yeah, I said, I, I think it might be the, oh, yeah, it's, I, think, I think it might be the same verse. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I'm going to just jump down then go back up. John 3 and 11. Verily, verily, I said unto thee, um, I'm going to jump down 12 points in 12. If I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things, man? Yeah, so here it is. Nicodemus couldn't receive that um, that, that saying. And you know I mean, it was no need to pretty much get spiritual, uh, even though he was being spiritual. But there was no need to go, um, you know, uh, super deep if he couldn't even receive that. You know what I'm saying? Uh 
it says uh, uh it says uh uh Yahusha answered verily verily I said to thee except that man be born of water and of the spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of Yahweh man and um that's what Yahweh was talking about you have to be cleansed with the word man and uh this is another quick precept to prove that this is a uh, book of Psalms chapter one oh nine verse um uh Where's that? I don't know. Thanks, Lucky. Hold on, one second. I literally just had it too. Yeah, here we go. Psalms one nineteen, uh, verse nine. Beth. It says, "Uh, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed uh, hereto according to thy word, man." So the word is what cleanses you. And then you got St. John 17, 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth, man. Sanctify means to separate, man. Be holy. So that's how you become a, a new man, a new creature. Uh, that's what Yahushua was talking about. Um, uh, and uh, when, he was, when he told Nicodemus, uh, you got to be born again. John chapter 3, verse 6. Uh, it says, that which is born of the flesh... Uh, is flesh and that which is born of the uh is born of the spirit is, is is spirit. It says, "Marvel not that I said unto thee said it said unto thee you must be born again." You know what I mean? And then, and then that's the thing. You know, don't 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 be surprised at what the Lord is uh saying when he uh when he said that man. All right, you got to be born again. You like in other words, like I said, breaking it down again. Um, you have to take heed to the scriptures. And um and uh and try your best according to your measure and your lot to repent from your from your works, man, your doings, man. That 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 wicked man that we once was, man. You know? And like I said, I'm just this is gonna be the first part, Lord willing, I I come back and I hit some more precepts, but I'll kinda press with time. So uh you know with that I'm gonna say shalom and the Baba Boy.